This is the scalpel blade handle. It accepts standard scalpel blades such as this 15, the 15C, and the number 11 blade on this pen handle. The pen handle allows us to get better grip to make this more precise so that we can apply more leverage, be in more control to make beautiful release incisions which will permit easier and sharper periosteo elevation. This is the Syndex periosteo elevator. It has a small side and a larger side. It's rounded on each end, so there are no sharp points to cause perforation. And they curve throughout the last portion of the shank here so that the blade can always stay on the bone to peel away the soft tissues from the bone. The cross section of this instrument is also very slim, making sharpening just that much easier to perform. So we have a razor sharp instrument that would do a fabulous job of raising and elevating our soft tissue flaps. Using the round scalpel handle with the number 15C blade, I'll make two vertical release incisions. The first vertical release incision will be made here on the mesial aspect of the tooth, starting above the mucogingival junction, cutting boldly down to the bone with one cut, and stabbing it at the very end. Because I'm using this round handle, I can be so much more precise with the incisions. Starting above the mucogingival junction, cutting boldly down to the bone with one cut, ending at the distal aspect of the tooth, stabbing in at the very end. Now using the Syndex periosteo elevator, I'll begin using the small end of the elevator to begin the periosteo elevation. I'm going to take my time keeping the sharp blade onto the hard tissues the entire time using small movements here in the cat mouth taking my time to gently peel and pry this tissue away from the bone and away from the tooth. Getting the corners peeled away is done nicely by taking the time using this freshly sharpened blade. Once the flap is peeled away, we can begin to see the alveolar crest and we want to make sure the elevation continues beyond the mucogingival junction. I'll use the larger size of the Syndex periosteo elevator to be more efficient with the remaining elevation of the soft tissues away from the bone, making sure that I elevate beyond the mucogingival junction to expose the bone that I want to use the high-speed drill to remove in aiding the extraction of this tooth. I'll use the small side of the periosteo elevator to elevate the soft tissues on the other side of my incision, on the palatal side, prying this tissue away from the bone to help suture retention when we're closing this defect. 